Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC, and we're here at SC14 in New Orleans at the Isotope booth, and I'm here with Keith Deegans. How are you doing today? Very good, thank you. A little bit better than you, I think, by the sound of Oh, yeah, yeah. I smoked too many cigars last night, but they were real Cubans is the good news. There you go. So what are you showing off here today at SC14? So we're showing off our liquid cooling solution. Yeah. Uh, we immersively cool servers in a seal blade, so no drips, no fuss. It's easy. Okay, so that's a sealed tank full of some kind of uh, dielectric cool, exactly. like fluorinert type stuff. That's right. All right. Yeah, fluorinert's the old stuff. This is yeah. uh, Novec from 3M. Okay. So we use as little as we need to to act as a liquid heat sink to immerse the blade. Yeah. So the server is immersed inside this sealed cartridge. Yes. We capture all that heat. That heat gets nice and lively in the Novec. We've got lots of convection going on. The heat then transfers across a heat transfer plate into a simple low pressure water system okay that so is. you know when when you have fluids things tend to leak what happens when when you sprout a leak here that full of this stuff does it spurt out all over everything or no, what? no 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 we use a low pressure water system and the novec if it ever leaked it just evaporates so just it just goes it just goes away like like exactly. hairspray or okay yeah, yeah quite yeah. all right gotcha all right all right um so what kind of density can we do given this uh well, you know what kind of pup how much power in a rack can you guys well, cool The system off? you see here is our prototype system. Yeah. We're releasing our new one this week. Yeah. And we're up to 30 kilowatts in an 800 wide by 1200 deep cabinet. Okay. Okay. So that's 30 kilowatts in the square footprint of a meter square. Nice. And we've got a roadmap to go to 60. Now, once you get up into the 60 realm, we talked about this earlier, yeah. that is well beyond the capability of air cooling, Absolutely. right? Somewhere yeah. around 45, you cannot move enough air to cool off one of these racks. So 15 over that, that'd be pretty sweet. Absolutely. We've got, a, we've got a server blade right now. We've got yeah. plans to go for a, a GPU blade, switch blade, storage blade, and we don't need any cooling, any chilling at all. So we're at ASHRAE 4 standard. Building water comes in, warm water in, up to 45 degrees C, and then we give you 50 degrees C. All right, so you take the heat out. Yep. Where does it go? You can go wherever you like. You can use it, you see? All right, so what's this deal? So this is set up to demonstrate what we can do. Yeah. It's a domestic radiator, as you can feel. We've got... Yeah, it's warm like it's warm. Wisconsin radiators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just from a kilowatt of compute there, using a nine watts of pump, and we're generating heat. Yeah. So I just turned all the servers into water heaters, really. Okay, yeah. okay. So you can put this to your underfloor heating. Yeah. Or we could have a, a data farm next door to a greenhouse. Sure. Generating food. Sure. Yep. Or, or this could be on the roof, just painting up into the sky, Absolutely. not you know. You or it could be heating uh, your office building. Exactly. You just have a smart switch which diverts the the hot water wherever you need it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can we see the back? I want to see the back plane. What's going on back okay. here? So what we've got here is our old prototype system, uh, and we've stripped out as much as we can so you can see what's going on. Yep. So we've got our plenums for water distribution through the back of the blades there. Yeah. Uh, so the hot water comes in from a tank in the top down through the blades out through a plate heat exchanger sure. that then decouples that from the building water okay so you got this horrible gray water in your building which is the higher pressure right stuff. i don't right. have to worry about that because it's decoupled by my heat exchanger yes and then my pump just returns the water back to the top again okay. and that circulates and as you can hear there's no yeah, i don't hear no noise there's no fans in this there's thing is it all. okay all. all right all right so you can put this in your office you can put this wherever you like hostile environments fantastic we could wrap the whole thing in insulation. Yeah. And you can pallet wrap the thing if you wanted to. Well, well how much water do I need? A fire hose or a garden hose? Um, you'll be using fire hose okay. for the building. Obviously, yep. it's scalable. Yes. Yeah. So we've broken it down into repeatable units. Yes. The chassis and the, the plenum, we can repackage it and reconfigure it okay. however is required, really. Okay. And, and then I think you mentioned you have a, a new blade you're working on. Can we see that? Uh, as it's you. Go on, then. All right. So uh, what are we looking at here? So this is our production version, yeah. which has been released this week. Yeah. So it's, as you can see, a much more elegant and simple solution than the, the prototype we have okay. there. We have Again, this is a sealed tank yeah, exactly. full of dielectric. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's what kind of like a printer cartridge, and it's as easy to change as a printer cartridge. Okay. Okay. So it docks into the chassis, um, connects with the water at the back there. Yes. With these... Uh, very uh, low maintenance, high resilience, stably water connectors. Yep, yep. Docks with the power, and then all your connectivity for your IT right. is in the front. All right. So we've got the, the newest Haswell um, motherboard in here from yes. Intel, 
2699s cooling away on the lap bench, no problem with liquid. I, I, so, so Isotope is relatively new. Who are you partnering with to bring this to market? Well, we're partnered with Schneider Electric and Solvay, who are a European equivalent of 3M, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So they're, they're developing specific coolants for us. Yes. And then obviously we've got Schneider. Yeah. They're just yeah. Schneider. Um, target market, cloud and HPC, where are you going first? Yeah, we're starting off with HPC, UK. Yeah. So all the universities, big laboratories, defense, that kind of thing. Yeah, so that's well, our first one. This is very exciting. So what, what are your goals for this week? You know, what's going to hit it out of the park for you guys? This was one of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, well, of course. Go with the red hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, just making people aware of how good the system is. Yeah. With a lot of liquid cooling people here. There is, there is. Know, but they're all pretty much doing pretty much of a muchness, all having the same problems. And we've been having, we've been through this for five years. I've been yeah. working on this five years. It's not your first rodeo, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs>